it looks everything new under the sun. What I want to show you today, one way that you can fix uh, your iPad Wi-Fi. Now, on this iPad, this is an iPad 2, Generation 2, look at the disgusting fingerprints on it. And um, I smashed the front glass, so I actually bought uh, a $20 a piece of glass uh, from eBay, a kit, and replaced it myself. Now, in doing so, let me get this thing off here. In doing so, um, I inadvertently uh, wrecked the Wi-Fi antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna actually sticks uh, down here on the back of the glass. So um, when you take the old glass off, it comes with it. And I broke it. Um, but one thing you can do to, uh, well, either fix it or improve it is to uh, basically cut it open and uh, get that again. Now, after I'd installed the glass, I realized um, that indeed I left the Wi-Fi antenna, which is this little piece here, um, I left it uh, stuck to the old glass, so I peeled it off, but at that point in time the wire that you can see here uh, was already ripped. So then I had to go and, uh, you know, I could have uh, bought another piece of glass, uh, took this new glass off, put a new piece of glass on. I didn't want to do that though. Um, so let me get you a little lower so we can see this here. Uh, Alright, so here's a closer look. Uh, now, so like I say, this here is just a um, it's just a very thin, about two centimeters long, little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, a flexible circuit board or, or whatever uh, wrap of uh, like flat metal that, like I say, sticks on the glass. So to, to uh, and it had broken, so the pigtail there, the, uh, the, the wire was uh, stuck in here. I knew it was cut off and I knew it was kind of close um, near the uh, bottom of the unit, the 30 pin connector. So I had to figure out how I could get in there without spending another $20 to replace the glass. So what I did was I got a multi-tool and I literally cut this open enough, uh, cut the aluminum away, and then took pliers and just rolled the aluminum back so that I could find the pigtail, the end of the wire, uh, which, which I did end up finding, uh, so that I could then solder the wire back onto the Wi-Fi antenna. So that is one way you can fix your Wi-Fi antenna if you've uh, broken it by taking, by replacing your glass, basically. Now you can also improve your Wi-Fi signal. Um, you should note that this is the bottom of the iPad. So when you're holding it, your hand is right here, which is at the absolute worst uh, for Wi-Fi. It doesn't like going through any sort of uh, liquid or water or water droplets or whatever. So having it down here, you would expect it would be up here. If I zoom out, and you would expect it to be up here in the top bar, which is the, this is where the 3G antenna is. No, not at all. They put it way down here uh, by the 30 pin connector where you're going to be holding it, which is, uh, like I say, the absolute worst place to put it. So one simple thing you can do is bring it onto the outside of the aluminum. That way the Wi-Fi, because the Wi-Fi is not going to go through the aluminum, the Wi-Fi goes through the glass. Um, so when it's flipped over this way, the Wi-Fi, the signal radiates uh, up through the glass, but of course it doesn't radiate through to your hands. So I guess in that point of view, um, your hands are back here. Um, the Wi-Fi is coming out, out the front of the unit. Let me let me zoom out here. So the, your hands are back here, and uh, I guess yeah, technically your hands wouldn't be covering the Wi-Fi in that case because all the Wi-Fi would be coming radiating out of the bottom of it, basically at your face. Um, but again, it would have been better if uh, you know they put it up at the top here because um, that's that's higher and farther away um, uh, from you so it can get over your head and so you should get better signal but um, so one easy thing you could do and I don't know if this affects the, um, the the wavelength of the antenna or not but what you could do I think is um, basically solder a longer wire so that you put this antenna right at the top of the iPad now you think that's ugly and, and you think this hole is ugly and well it may be but the thing is with this sort of a fix A I didn't have much choice but B if you put your iPad in a case like this stick it in well then you can't see it anyways um, you know you've got your speaker there your 30 pin connector here no one has any idea that it's there and uh, if you've smashed your glass already you're going to have a case because you don't want to smash it again so cutting a big hole in it makes uh, no big uh, difference or deal. So that's uh, so. Like I said, one way to fix it is just to simply cut a hole in the back. Be very careful. Only cut through the top layer of aluminum, and then peel it back uh, um, carefully with needle nose pliers.
and then you can fish it with the wire and I just soldered it back on to the original one or you can get fancy maybe find a flat Wi-Fi connector or lengthen the wire and run it all the way up to um, the top of your iPad and get even better Wi-Fi range now even just doing this um, it absolutely did fix my Wi-Fi as soon as I broke this um, I could only go about 20 feet away from my access point before I would not have any Wi-Fi. So I had to do something about it. I could not live with it. Now, the Wi-Fi did work, but it had to be very close to the router. With this back fix soldered in place, it, it fixed it. It gave me probably about 10% um, uh, better uh, Wi-Fi range, uh, maybe 20%. Not a huge amount, but it was it was noticeable, noticeable uh, to be honest, that it gave a bit better um, signal just being outside of the glass and the case in general. But like I said, the way to improve it even more would then be to get a wire, run it up to the top, and as long as it's in your case, um, you should be, uh, you know, no one's going to see it, it's not going to be that ugly, and it's going to be protected as well. I've just got um, a piece of I don't know if you can see that, a piece of tape over it. So, like I was saying, I think you can see the tape here. I've got just a big piece of uh, packing tape, basically. It's nice and flat, uh, nice and firm, keeps it steady so that the solder joint isn't bending all over the place. And obviously it lets a uh, Wi-Fi signal through. So, um, yeah, to improve it, like I say, I would just, uh, I would just run this up further, maybe even... Get a different, uh, maybe a flat, wi flat, larger Wi-Fi antenna, uh, maybe a larger DB uh, antenna. I'm sure they, they probably sell them on eBay or somewhere, and just solder that in because it's a single wire there. Um, I think it was grounded maybe to a case or something uh, with screws, but it uh, it doesn't seem to need anything else. Um, I just have it stuck on the back uh, of the aluminum there. And just like I say, soldered this one pigtail, uh, the wire that was going to it through it originally. Now, um, I should mention that to get at this, if you want to actually pull this out uh, without having to replace your glass, well, that's going to be a bit more tricky. You'd have to cut more away here because it's basically stuck on the glass under here, uh, which you can't really see. Um, so you'd have to get in there with... Uh, yeah, I can't, can't even see it there. Um, not, not the best lighting. Uh, but anyways, it's right on the back of the, the glass stuck there. So you need uh, a needle nose pliers or something to get under there and uh, and then pull that up. And it's pretty sticky. It's stuck in there pretty good, honestly. So let me get, get you back in focus there. So that is it. It looks uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty rough rough of a job. Um, I didn't break anything else, thankfully. I kind of took my time uh, picking pieces out of this. Uh, it looks like Frankenstein, but it does work. And like I say, as long as you have uh, a protector, a cover, and you should if you've replaced your glass already, for example, um, and most people have some kind of prote protective cases for these anyways, uh, then it completely hides that, and you wouldn't even know otherwise uh, that it's in there. So there you go. Um, that is how to A, fix your Wi-Fi antenna, and B, uh, possibly even improve it. And uh, I was able to fix mine. The new uh, digitizer glass works excellent. I have no issues with it at all. Um, the only problem that I ran into, like I said, was I uh, broke that Wi-Fi uh, antenna. So there you go. Works like a charm. Wi-Fi works. Everything is good. And uh, that's it. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that the next guy uh, finds some useful information here. We'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.